Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you are watching the Transport Fever 2 mainline and uh, we're sat here at the Silent Hill mainline freight interchange station depot kind of deal and uh, we've got a nearly full mainline train coming in. I know. Uh, here we go. Let's, uh, I'll prove it to you. 44 coal, uh, 4 stone, 1 oil, no idea where it got that, and 1 piece of construction material. Well, that's valuable. To, to offset that, of course, here's a mainline train running the other way that's virtually empty. Uh, it just made 10 grand off that, and I know why that is, because it is taking that coal down to the other end. It is now running completely full, bar one item. This is quite promising. Now, I mean, if you want it spelling out, it's quite promising because that means that this train should pay off healthily when it uh, when it makes a deposit. Let's have a look because what we're aiming to do. I'm, I'm, apologies for using high speed, uh, but I want to see what this does when it, it reaches somewhere it can uh, it can get value from. I don't really know where it's going either. Well, I do. It would it could definitely end up in Shermer and deposit that coal. I can't remember whether I've got a steelworks or not at, at UP. I don't. So it's not going there. It will make some money from oil there. Uh, but beyond that, I don't know. Which is interesting. And, and we're carrying nothing in the opposite direction, which is painful. But even if we're only going to make money in one direction at the moment, if all the trains do that consistently, we'll take the heat out of the running costs significantly. Uh, and that's, that's the big deal, because... Uh, those running costs are what's slowing me down from uh, from further expansion. If I were to junk all three of these trains, given that they're putting me in the hole at the moment, then I'd be able to make enough money to expand further. And this is the this is the trick to the main line: is that you you really do need some of everything hooked up to the main line before it will start to uh, to percolate a profit for you. Uh, now, what we should see here. As soon as autosave finishes its vital, vital work, is uh, we should see the oil drop off, which is better than nothing, because in doing that, we're also going to take a, a very small amount of heat out of the refining line, and we'll take a very small amount of heat out of the line that goes up to the, the fuel system. So there we go. That's the uh, that's the oil gone. Not very much though, ha. Huh. No, not very much, but that is the oil gone. Um, and that's a, that's a reasonable place to start. Uh, yeah, but it really depends on what the next train is carrying. Well, we'll look at what the next train is carrying after we see what this pays us when it reaches its uh, its destination. Do you want to ride it at high speed? Oh, that's, that's not dreadful. It's only the same as running a, riding a, a more modern train uh, doing its regular speed. We're doing 38 kilometres an hour, so if you were to... to triple that we're doing like 120 yeah if you say so <laughs> I, I still think this feels a little bit swift um uh but hey this is why we're here we're, we're here to see if this this can make a a profit at all if we're lucky and i think we've got, we've got a fighting chance of being lucky i think this will pop from being uh, a, a cost center this particular train into being temporarily in profit the klondike is available that's okay, but I'm not really hauling passengers at the moment. Can the Klondike take freight? I can't remember. Anyway, we've got some iron ore to take back the other way. That's not so unhelpful either. But uh, but here's the bit that matters. Wait for it. Are we going to slow this down ceremonially? Yeah, let's slow it down. Let's let's embrace the uh, embrace the occasion. Oh, I feel embraced. There we go. We're coming in and oh hoo, hoo. yeah. That's the stuff. Hey, good. Thank you very much for this million dollar bonus. In fact, that was a million and a half that we just made there. And you picked up 13 iron to go the other way, which is not insignificant. That's good. The question is, what's the next train on the main line carrying? Because if that only happens once in a while, that's no use. Uh, is this a main? Yeah, it looks promising. All right, what have you got? I got a bunch of coal for you, Gov. In fact, also running almost full. Not quite as full as the previous one. Alright. What about the one behind that? That's passengers. Okay. 
That's passengers. Yeah. Okay. Look at the amount of oil waiting. 57. Do you know what you need? I need another mainline train. Yeah, I know. Uh, you need one that is dedicated to oil. That's the that's the benefit you get. This one's running full of coal as well. It's got some planks on board just for the heck of it. Uh, that's the that's the yeah. Mm. The the two ways of going about running a mainline is you either go a bit of mixed consist, uh, or you do what I've done, which is go just grab everything and use the Naffy's wagon uh, because that is it, it's a universal wagon. It carries all goods types so it is a bit of a cheat but i want to use the bit of a cheat for the time being because it's the only way i'm going to be able to salvage any kind of profit early on later on mixed consist could work out quite nicely the strength of mixed consist would come in though when we reach silent hill because we'd be able to take some of that oil which would be very very helpful um but you know what i'm not i'm not i'm not actually disappointed i'm i'm fine with this this is okay. Let's quickly check the scoreboard here. Because what I was going to do was was try and uh, make... There we go. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. The actual mainline train is profitable. Um, a bit. Yeah. Hey, that's not so bad. No, it really isn't. It's No, that's not so bad at all. Um, okay, well, we're back in business. What I was umming and ahhing about was, was whether or not to... Uh, to connect maybe the oil line was was my my first goal to set the oil line up to go to silent hill uh because i've got to get oil down to uh down to utopia planitia and i'm still not doing it now the, the other op the another option that, that presents itself there would be to uh to set more trains in motion but that doesn't really help me much either uh what i need is to be emptying out in between stations Otherwise, yeah. all mixed consist. Yeah, right. So instead, I think we'll power forwards with the main line. Now, do we want to power forwards this way? What gets us the best chance at success here? Now, the next station that I was going to build is here by Dark City. And that gets me iron ore, which is useful. Uh, it gets... Because I think the next one's going to be just the other side of the river. So it gets us iron ore, it gets us more machines, and it gets us oil. Steel's already hooked up. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have the money for this, but we'll uh, we'll give it a try. Uh, now, ha since we don't have passengers running out here yet, I think we could just run this as a, as a, a very cheap... <laughs> okay yeah a cheapish uh kind of opportunity here you could very readily burn all of the money here just placing the station yeah this also wants food now i don't have any i've got grain on the line already but i don't have uh i don't have any food production so check the other end because the other option of course is we go the other way uh atlantis we know does produce food and oil yeah more lumber yeah you've got tools going on there you've got more food yeah how's the route look though well look you you've built a lot of it already yes you stick this in here right uh yeah uh Sorry, uncertainty is currently preying on my mind. I don't know if this is the right choice or not. Uh, it might be nice to go this way. You get but you get oil. Yeah, but you see, when they pick up that oil, we're immediately going to lose the uh, the coal. This is also going to be very expensive to, to set up, given that you've got more things to set. Yeah. And you're going to need a bridge. Small though it may be. Okay, we'll go the cheap way. And then I think next time we'll uh, we'll do Atlantis, uh, and we'll we'll work on uh, on going both ways because that actually that leads us towards being almost halfway around the map. Now I think the uh, I think the second side of the map is the more complex, but that's a that's a tomorrow problem. Right, uh, give me a bit of road, please. Not much, just a smidge. I just want enough to to lay my station right next to the road here. Because then I can cheat and get a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of extra coverage, you see. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit of extra coverage. I want to go out like that. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right, that'll do. Because then it'll go down like this, you see. And then, it, then it'll parallel the... Do you want to do that as well? Yeah, all right. Uh, then it will parallel the, the, the freight line coming in. Uh, right, okay. You sure this is the, the the line you want to take? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. That's a passenger station. Okay. Good. Well, that's, a, that's one way to not efficiently do this. Try it again. Thanks. Uh, it should be cheaper because I've already, I've already pre-smoothed this. You know, the price tag is suggesting otherwise. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, bang it in. There you are. All right. No, no getting away from it. This is, this is a station that is very much going to need to be modernized later on. Uh, right. Where are we going? Okay. Well, you're going to go. Oh, crumbs. Your track build here is going to be expensive. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. It's, no, it's, if there's no getting away from it, up the tempo to like maximum. Get that money coming in. All right. I've got no loan, so uh, no loan available to spend, rather. Uh, so, you know, you're on your own here. All right. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So far, so good. All right. And uh, whiz it around the corner. Whiz it around the corner. Try not to bleed off too much speed. Yeah. All right. You've got to run roads down there as well. But, yeah, I have, a, I have a feeling the roads might be cheaper, a little bit cheaper. Uh, when they've got uh, the track to snap to. Really? What are you basing that on? Uh, just love. There you go. That's what I'm basing that on. Oh, that's that's a nice thing to say. You know, you could now uh, you could now stick a freight station in here and it's already got some track done. This is a two birds, one stone operation moment. It is potentially, but that's not why we're here today. All right. You are wiggling this like a wrong one. I know. Where are you going to cut across? I want to cut across kind of there. Yeah, you might need to get this road out of the way. Yeah, I might do. All right, we'll see how we get on. Um, right. The money's going the right way. Yeah, that's what we like to see. All right, okay, keep it coming. All right, and go straight across there. I am going to employ dirty, dirty level crossings for the time being. Look at that. Ugh, ugh. Disgusting. Um, but that can that can be cleaned when I've got a little bit more money available. Uh, right, we're going to come in on this one. All right. Yeah. Which means you're going to need to change the platform assignments. Yes. To whatever that one is. Well, you're talking to passengers at the moment. There you go. Right. Terminals. One. No, you want to be on five. Does it? Four. Thank you. There you go. Right. And then you're going to be on five going back the other way. Okay. This is all great. It's all great. It's all, all of it's great. That's actually come up a lot easier than I thought it was and much less expensive than I thought it was going to. Uh, so come back over this way. Yeah. They're going to need a junction. Yeah. Is that the one you want? Okay, right, on we go. Okay, I mean, it, it worked out first time around. Right? That's something I didn't even consider, was that, uh, that that extra platform that I've got at Shermer uh, meant that the train was able to get back onto either piece of track. I hadn't even thought of that. Four and a half million now. Okay, we're rolling. Uh, good. Yeah, and that is purely down to coal i should i should think but that's why i'm hooking this one up is because i've got to get uh, i've got to get oil moving because uh because of utopia planitia yeah this might not work i know it did though you didn't deserve that to work <laughs> what's deserve got to do with anything right uh now of course this this also facilitates the opportunity to uh to start running passengers further down the line. But that's not why I'm here today. No, it's not. You've actually done all the track you need to. Well, that's good. Right, now go and do exactly what you did last time and bash in a bunch of uh, a bunch of material delivery. Right, Deliveroo. No, 
that's not the same thing. Uh, right, give me the bendy. We're going to swing this out over on another dirty level crossing over that way. You're not. I am. Okay, yeah, you might as well connect that up onto there. Okay. Right, where's it going? Well, that's that's going out to the uh, to the machines factory there. All right, let's just run a little tiddly road. This little tiddly road is going to be quite expensive. Yeah, I know. Actually, it's not that too, it's not too bad at all. Uh, right. Okay. Now switch to. Don't say it's targeting computer. Um, right. Okay. Let's let's bang in that. Yeah. Let's have another one here. This is going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting addition to the line. Now, theoretically, after set, setting these up, there should the road's already in. I'll use big special flipping game. Uh, right. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll even pay over the odds for it. But thank you. What were you saying? Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, no. I don't, I've already got the trains necessary to run this. I don't need to buy any more trains. Because I've already got the trains necessary to run this. Uh, so, hooray. But equally, buying another train might actually work in my favour at this point. Um, I haven't decided yet. Okay, good. Well, thanks for bringing us up to speed. Ah, you're welcome. Um, right, so uh, then we went and built, yes, the truck lines. Okay, what are we looking at? Three. Yeah, is there no more? Four. Ah, what are we doing with this oil? Which way is that going? Is that going to end up in Rapture or is that Dark City? I think, these, I think both of these are, are Rapture-based because we've already got some... This is a nice little line that we've got going on there. My my plastics production. Yeah. Ooh, and then you've got food processing there as well. It's all good. The more the further you go, the the better this is going to work. You're gonna to want to rebuild all of this, you know. I think the train line's right. It might just need the, the corner adjusting to, to give us a bit more speed, but I think it's it's largely there. Uh, right, new line. Let's do the important one first. There you go. There you are. Right. Dark City. This is your first time here. Well, it's going to be called Dark then, isn't it? Uh, no. The naming convention is going to be whatever it is I think I can probably remember. Uh, ML Road Oil Road Oil. Okay. Next. Yep. I haven't got a dark anything else. So this, this can be dark all on itself. Uh, that is, yeah, dark ML uh, t -t -t road, yeah, tools. That's not tools, that's machines. Uh, machines. Okay, and for my final trick here, uh, we'll do a bit of that. Is that your final trick? I thought there were four. No, I'm pretty sure there's only three. Yeah, there's only three. All right, okay, carry on. Uh, yep, yeah, dark. Yes. ML. I love it. Oh, I love it when it starts working. Uh, dirt road and then iron. Cool. Good. Uh, we got a depot nearby. No, this is your first, your first foray into this area. Unless you want to build a road out to, to Raccoon City. I don't. Then don't then. Because uh, it will be cheaper to just build a... No, that's, that's trains. You're an optimist. You're not having them yet. Uh, give me this and plonk it on here. The locals are all very excited. Where does this road go, Daphne? I don't know. We'll go and find out. It doesn't go all the way to Shermer, does it? Uh, yes, it does. Oh, it goes to Bartertown, at least. All right, it goes to Bartertown, at least. Do you want to actually get on with it? Right, okay. Buy vehicles. Right, what do you want? Uh, let's put three on the tools route. Yep. Okay. Three. Not 31. I think 31's more than we need. Uh, dark. There it is, right there. Uh, dark machines. Okay, how much do you want on oil? Five. Okay. Good. This is this is the this is the system. This is the way. Where this is going to make us all of the monies. Uh, oil. Yep. It's going to stop you picking stuff up from Sherma if you're if you are carrying all of the oils. Nah, that'll be that'll be okay. And then uh, iron, please. What do you think? Three? Three. Okay. 
And interestingly, even though I've got very small numbers of trucks on all of these little linky lines at the moment, I am making enough stuff. Enough stuff, eh? I'm transporting sufficient goods to, uh, to actually make this work. And I am making it work. Right, let's pay back a couple of million just to save me on the interest. Now, I mean, the thing is, the interest isn't all that much. That's, it's relatively cheap. Um, well, there we go. Right, how are we looking? Railroad. We dropped from 2.3 million to 1.4 to 900,000. And we're 1.7 at the moment. Because obviously that includes your, your capital investments. Yeah. So, we actually, the high watermark was 8.4. I bet that's that flipping lumber idiocy that I've got going on at Picks Creek. You know, I bet it is. I bet it is. Right. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's tweak up. Oh, hello, you. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, let's tweak up this route. Manager line. Yeah. Okay, here's Shermer. Yes. So we're going to go from Ad Station, from Shermer. We've got a new truck. It's only 20 kilometers an hour. No, I'm not interested. Uh, and down to... Yeah. And then back to the Sherms. Back to the Sherms. Okay. It's gone Shermer Plat 4 both times. Fix that at Shermer. All right. Terminals. No, wrong wrong bit of Shermer. Okay, hang on. Wrong, Still wrong bit of Shermer. This one. There you go. Terminals. Uh, you're, number one. Yeah, which way are you going after that? Downhill. Okay, so that needs to be on Plat 3. No, it doesn't. Five. There you go. All right. It's not broken. It flipping isn't broken. You sure? You've gotten you've gotten going the wrong way, you idiot. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're on plat four. Yeah. Right. And then you are on plat three. It's broken. Why? What a. Eh? <clears throat> Think it through, son. Okay, plat three is which one? That one. It's plat flipping five. You, had a, you were right the first time round. Game disagrees with you. So if we're starting from here, we go down. I'm sorry. My brain appears to have left the building. Uh, you, plat five. You, plat four. All right. Yes. Yeah, because we're going that way. That's the right side of the track. I bet it's going into the wrong station at the other end. It probably is. That would be it. Uh, station platform. You know what I mean. Uh, terminals. Yeah, you're going into two. You don't want to go into two. You want to go into one. That hasn't fixed it. Should have done. Yeah. Let's let's pull the route up. Right. Yeah. That's doing well done. That's going right. Signals. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. We'll 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 get them in. Uh, one about here. Thank you. And then we'll put these uh, these partially along the way. Now, the main line, you do want to run one-way signals on there all the time. Because if you don't, you're going to be very, very sad very, very quickly. Um, yeah. Okay, so we reach Sherma, and everything is cool. Yeah. All right, so what's your flaming problem? You could just have a train on the wrong bit of track. It's possible, but let's see where this stops. It carries on over there. That's fine. It's fine with Utopia Planitia. It's fine coming up here. Everything should work. Yeah. What do you think? Confused train? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Turn around, son. There you go. Now figure it out. Get your life back in order. Okay. Good. You know what? I might even buy another one of you. I might. That would be exciting. Well, it would be something to do with some money. It would be something to do with some money. Right, what have we actually got waiting here? Look at the size of this. This is looking great. Uh, you've got full load plus running one way. You've got barely anything going the other way. Okay, well, that's less than ideal, but it will it will suffice for now. Look at it all. Oh, look at the trains. Look at the trains, everybody. That's, oh, it's just great. Train 7, what are you packing? 56 oil. Do they need oil up here, though? Nope. Okay. Well, good, I suppose. Are you gonna drop any here anyway? I'd be I'm fascinated to find out. 
well, uh, wait a moment and you'll, and you'll discover for yourself. Ah, we ought to investigate the lumber train and see if the idiocy that I've got set up on there is accomplishing anything at all. Yeah, I just went, oh, crumbs. No, they don't need this here. Yeah, no, just you flaming idiots. Right, let's talk to this one. What do you got for me? Uh, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, logs, yeah. We really don't need logs down there. I don't care. Uh, you've got some planks. Well, gee, that's super. You're welcome. I am still profitable, though. Yeah, well, yeah, barely. Yeah, once upon a time, you were raking in all of the money, you know. Once upon a time. I'm not anymore, though, am I? No, no, you're not. No, you're just not. So what's going to happen here? You're going to drop off these planks. Yeah. And then you're going to pick up the remaining <laughs> logs. I'm not sure how the logs got up there. You're going to stop at the next place. It's going to go, we've got logs. It's going to go, I've got logs. I don't need your logs. Okay, I was rather hoping that we'd be taking some steel down there. But I've got steel production going on. Yeah. But it's just not turning up anywhere. No. Now, mercifully, it's, it's a full load now. It's making a loss. But when it arrives, it's going to go, ta-da, profit. You're going to go, yeah, but you would have had that profit ages ago if we weren't mucking about quite so much. Ta-da. Yeah, yes, all right. Ta-da. Uh, right, we've got 134 coal waiting here. One wonders why it would possibly be that we were picking up so much coal, and I think we have our answer. Um, right. Do you want to stick another two trains on the main line? <gasps> Steel. All right, good. Which way is it going? It's going up towards Pit Creek. Good. Okay. It's, yeah, we're taking some the other way as well. We've got a good reason for that. Okay, good answer. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. Where is the main line? Well, there's the passenger main line. Flipping Nora. 1.8 million. That's a lot. Yeah. Where's the actual main line? Uh, better not be red. It's red. 90 grand in the hole. Well, that could have been worse. Why does it think that the actual main line is only carrying 11 items of cargo? What are you carrying? 11 items of cargo. Okay, good. What are you carrying? 50. Six barrels of the black stuff. That's what I like to hear. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when 56 barrels of the black stuff rock up, which it is literally about to do. Uh, right. Not figuratively, literally. Right, there you go. And that was 700 grand. Could it be that that oil had been on something of a road trip before we dropped it off? Do you think? Possibly? I think it possibly could. Anyway, that's going to at least keep the uh, the wagons here being productive. That's no bad thing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy another couple of these. A couple? Yeah, what's the problem? I think one. I did. Let's not get carried away. Buy one and be happy with that. All right, okay. Just to keep, you know, just to keep things motoring. Uh, right, what have we got waiting here? we got iron ore waiting there. And then as we come down to the end, as expected, iron ore and oil. Beautiful. Good. All right, we're back in business. In the next episode, uh, what are we going to do? Atlantis. Yeah. And that will probably do it. Okay, so we'll do Atlantis and we'll hook that up correctly. Uh, but then... After that, I want to I want to return return and not return. I want to return my attention to uh, to passengers and get them rolling again. We've got Barter Town to hook up, and uh, Dark City obviously, and we'll have uh, we'll have Atlantis to do as well. Also, Gotham. Yes, you're running a lot of buses on there right now, but I think they would be jolly happy to have their own personal railway service and Port Miggins. You know, these are all. And, arguably, New York, New York, New York. Uh, new, New, New York, 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 York. All of those things could do with being connected. Uh, so uh, so that's something that needs to happen soon. Anyway, it, it's working. I never had a doubt in my mind. I mean, Colonel Failure, do the subscription dance now.
Mmm, you've clearly been practicing. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.